All right, guys, this video, we're going to be talking about how the 2010 V6 Camaro is held up after 110,000 miles. Now, before we start this video, I'd like to encourage you guys to subscribe. If you like seeing more videos like this one, I would really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, but we're going to hop into the video now. So the 2010 V6 Camaro, this car is 110,000 miles, it is a 3.6 liter V6 and a six speed manual. Now, as you can see, as we're walking around here, the car has, uh, it's aged quite well. It still looks good. Paint's still in very good shape. Wheels are still in pretty good shape. No big dents, no rust, nothing really bad on the outside at all. Actually, when I went to go look at it, I never thought it had 110,000 miles. Take a peek inside. As you can see, very nice in here as well. So you might be thinking, man, this thing's got 110,000 miles. How? How does it look this nice and have 110,000 miles? Well, the answer is fifth gen Camaros are built a lot better than everybody thought they were. Look at that, like a rock. This car drives fantastic. Suspension feels pretty good. And from what I can tell, it's all original suspension as is the steering. The transmission has never been touched. 110,000 miles on the original clutch. Now these Eisen transmissions, this is an Eisen AY6. Now these are known to have some problems, but this one seems to be doing its job just fine. So I really can't have any complaints with it. We can take a look under the hood. And this is, this is probably the most impressive part of the car. as I struggle to get the hood open with one hand. Look at that, look at that engine bay. 110,000 miles. Look at that, no rust. We got a little dirtiness in here and there, but I mean, look at this. This is incredible for 110,000 miles. Look at those brake lines. This car has been in Michigan for over seven years of its life. Look at those brake lines. This thing is built like a rock. 110,000 miles, engine runs smooth, quiet, transmission shifts very nicely, the exhaust is all original, very quiet still, but you know, probably like to change that someday. As you can see, the only real blemishes on the whole car is right there, that scratch on the rear bumper, maybe a shopping cart hit it or something, that's what I'm imagining. That's really the only blemish on the entire car. The interior, like I said, very nice. The only real issue is, uh. You can see this fabric's kind of loosened up in the last decade that this car has been around. So maybe you know, try to re-glue re that or something, but it really doesn't look bad. You don't really notice it. And it's not like it's torn or it's falling off. It's just kind of loosened up over the years. Not really a big deal. I'll start it up for you guys. So you can hear how ridiculously smooth this runs. Look at that. Starts up runs super quiet super smooth i i seriously cannot even feel that this engine is running that's how smooth this car runs you know we'll, we'll pop under the hood again i'd like you to guys i'd like you guys to see how this thing runs look at that no real noises to speak of that's a quiet engine smooth running i bet you could put a glass of wine on top of there and it wouldn't even tip over That is a well put together engine, as far as I'm concerned. Hop inside, we'll see that all the gauges still work, including the center digital gauge. Both the right and left analog gauges still work, all the lights work, the radio all, radio all works, all the lights on there work, AC and heat both work phenomenally. Front and rear defrosters, everything. All works like it should. Cruise control. There is seriously nothing wrong with this car. And it has 110,000 miles. Look at it. 109,868. You can't beat that. To anybody who says that, you know, third or fourth gens are built, but no, they're not. Fifth gens are built miles better. The quality is unreal. For a sports car from 2010, 
that was, I believe, under $30,000 new. You seriously cannot beat this car. The Mustangs of the same time period, and as far as I'm concerned, were not built nearly as well. I messed around with the 2008 Mustang quite a bit, and it's just, it's nowhere near this car. Now, it's a good car, and it's also about half the price, but there's a reason for that. Look at that. 110,000 miles. Pretty incredible. So, uh, I think the only thing left to do now is let's take it for a ride. Let's see how it drives. All right, guys, we're going to take the Camaro for a ride. I don't know how good your angle of view is here, but you should be able to see what's going on. So we'll take off. So you can see the clutch is very light, very smooth. It lacks a little bit of feel, but this isn't a driving review. This is more just showing how well the car drives, even with 110,000 miles on it. You can see it's quite quiet in here. Even as we hit those, uh, it's kind of a bumpier parking lot that I'm in right now. And it, uh, it soaks up the bumps very nicely. Very nicely, in my opinion. You know, it's definitely a sports car. It rides a little firm. But it's not, it's not uncomfortable by any means. And usually, once cars get to this age, they start to make a lot of noise. And that is just not the case with this one. 10 years old, 100,000 miles, and there's not a rattle to speak of in here. It's very quiet. Nothing seems to be moving or rattling or bouncing around. It really is, really is quite enjoyable. The well, speed limit is 25, unfortunately, right now, because it's a school, school time. Even though school doesn't really exist anymore. That's kind of dumb, but you know, it is what it is. Right around this corner though, it'll pick back up to 45 and then we can open it up a little bit. But just, I mean, it's cruising. We're in fourth gear right now at 31 miles an hour and it's quiet, it's smooth. And I guess that's the biggest thing that I can say about this car is considering its age, it is incredibly smooth. Handles beautifully, steering is awesome. As you can see, I'm not doing a whole lot of work here to keep the car going where I want it to. You get a lot of older cars, the steering gets real sloppy, and not this one. This one's still nice and precise. Transmission's very easy to flick around. I still don't like the transmission, but that's nothing wrong with the transmission itself. It's just a personal preference. It functions just fine. Here, we'll do a rev match to third. Rev match to second. Three, two, one. Woo! So the old 36 has no problem getting up and going, even with 110,000 miles. Now this was the 36 was kind of GM's first mass production uh, dual overhead cam V6, and I think it's doing okay. 110,000 miles later, it's running like a top. Can't really complain. Oh yeah, it's, it's, this is a uh, this is a fairly smooth back road, and this car is great. Look, we're going to a corner. Handles nice and flat. Very predictable in its motions. Kind of an odd off-camber turn, and this car just does awesome. Very nice driving car. Oh, we have a cross country team. Epic. Try, holy crap, there's like hundreds of them. Jeez. Try not to run them over. Luckily, the Camaro handles awesome. If I would have been a Mustang, man, I would have taken all them out. So, if you're looking at buying a Camaro, I say do it because then you save the whole cross country team. Cross country teams all across America will thank you for buying a fifth gen Camaro. Rev match to fourth. And I guess for having an electronic throttle after 10 years, you'd think something would kind of go wrong with it, but it seems to function just fine. And I'm, I'm honestly very impressed that the clutch 
has lasted as long as it has because this clutch seriously feels like there's nothing wrong with it I, I have no reason to replace this clutch 110,000 miles usually you know clutches got you know 50 or 60,000 miles really start to show their wear but not the case here traffic circles look we survived just runs really really nice very nice driving car and for it to be all original too that's what really surprises me so in my opinion if you're looking at buying one of these I wouldn't hesitate to get a higher mileage one honestly I'd be totally fine with getting one over 100,000 miles because this one's got 110 and it runs awesome. Really can't beat that. These cars are pretty good values right now. Fourth, third, lean into it. So it really does, it really does go very nicely. a little toasty in here I forgot I had the heat on and that's another thing he works just just fine works really nicely but we'll uh do a turn around here and I guess that'll be the uh that'll be the conclusion of our video so thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe a lot more Camaro videos coming a lot more Firebird videos coming even Buick videos Pretty much any any video you can think of, it's coming out pretty soon. So subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Thanks for watching, guys.